What's up? This is Rebel Radio. What up? What up? This is DJ Newmark. This is Peanut Butter Wolf. It's your boy. It's okay. Keep checking out Rebel Radio. Rebel Radio. This is Rebel Radio. We're in the place right here. Uh-huh. Rebel Radio is going down. Would you say Rebel Radio? Oh, wait. Let's do it again. Rebel Radio. What's up, Rebels? Welcome back to Rebel Radio. Today, the all soccer edition featuring my guest Denzel Slager from the LA Galaxy 2, which is the farm league to our LA Galaxy team here in Los Angeles. Denzel is not only a rising star in the soccer world, but he's also a model with Wilhelmina Models. He's got his own clothing line coming out this fall, DS11. And he stars on the reality show WAG. So this dude has all kind of good things happening. But you might not know it, but he's got some great stories about giving up everything to get to this point. He walked away from a big contract playing for Newcastle United, moved to LA with nothing, and actually lived in his car until he got his soccer contract. Uh, So he's got some great lessons in happiness and, and why that's so important to having a successful career and and in how to struggle. And now listen up, our interview with Denzel Slogger. Nice. Well, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate you you guys making time for this. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, You know, I've really just learned about you through uh, Anthony and and Greg Mm -hmm. over at Wilhelmina. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, you guys... A great story that I'm, um, you know, I'm fascinated yeah. by. So, so I'm excited. Have you heard the whole story? No, I'm sure I haven't. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. uh, but uh, you know, the the pieces I've seen, yeah, so far, um, you know, is just really interesting. Yeah, so, it's, 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 so I'm excited to hear story. all about it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, you know, I always like to start at the beginning. So, so, uh, you know, you come here today. You're a professional soccer player. Our first professional soccer player. Oh, really? Um, and uh, our first Dutchman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so a lot of firsts today, which is cool. <laughs> um, but I know you're also a model, uh, and and I saw some stuff about a foundation that you're involved with. And um, so I know, you, I, I know you got a lot going on. Yeah. But if you would, take us back to the beginning. Um, you, how you know, I started? Yeah, how'd you get started? As a, you were playing soccer as a kid, I imagine? Oh, yeah, yeah. I played, uh, I started, I think I was... Five years old or something. Okay. Um, and yeah, I was I was I was playing in Holland. Mm-hmm. Um, some some teams, you know, some some local teams. Um, after a couple <coughs> years, um, the f- I I I played for my first professional team in Holland. At what age? And uh, I was twelve years old or something. Oh wow! Yeah, I was twelve years old. I was very young. I started yeah. young, so I played yeah. soccer my whole life. And is that? <coughs> I mean, is that is that common? Is that a thing? Like, are there twelve year olds playing professional soccer? Is yeah, okay yeah, if we call yeah. it soccer. Soccer, yeah. Okay. Football, soccer, but we yeah. call it soccer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's in Holland. Um, like, soccer is big in Holland in yeah. Europe. Yeah. You know, so they uh, develop develop players. Like you have teams under ten. Right. Ten years old, eleven years old, twelve years old. So yeah, I was twelve years old. Wow. When I played for my first professional team, yeah, and um, that's when it really started, like serious. Yeah, and um, yeah, after after that, uh, I just I just played for 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 a couple professional teams mm-hmm. in Holland. Um, uh, I signed my first contract on my sev- seventeen or eighteen or something. Yeah, and uh, made my professional debut on my, I think, the age of eighteen. Wow. Or something, yeah. So, so at what point are you aware that this is now going to be a career? Um, I think right before my first contract. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's you know it's real. Then you sign for a couple years, and yeah. um, at that point you have to realize that that's what you're doing. You stop school. Mm-hmm. I stop school. Uh, stop school. I I, didn't, I don't like school, so uh-huh. I always you know. I was focused on soccer and and other things. Yeah. So um, no, but but right before I signed my first professional contract, I realized yeah, this this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm go- what I'm doing for life. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, I just signed. I signed. Oh, sorry, I signed. And uh, yeah, that was that was the point where it all began. And what team was that? That was for. Um, it was a team RKC Wallwack. Okay. It was the first division in in Holland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And. Uh, 
yeah, I've pl- I've played there for uh, for two years. Mm-hmm. And in the do you do we know some soccer clubs? Some soccer clubs from England. Do you know Newcastle United? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So in the in the in the winter, uh, Newcastle came. They called uh, they called to to my team to RKC at that point, um, and they wanted to buy me. But you know, soccer, you know, so everything has to go the right way, and, and, mm-hmm. and so it it didn't work out. After uh, two months. Uh, I made a, a, a transfer to 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 England, mm-hmm. to a team in England, uh, Coventry City mm-hmm. was there, and um, yeah, it was it was it was it was weird. It was difficult because it was my first time, uh, like in other in another country in, yeah. in England yeah. at that at that moment. And um, yeah, after two months or something, I was like. I was in a hotel room. I lived in a hotel room. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't play anymore. Uh, I was not happy. Yeah. I was not happy at that point. And I was yeah. like, yeah, maybe my my the contract I've signed is good, mm-hmm. but I think you, you, happiness happiness is is the most important. Otherwise, you can't you can't practice. You can't focus and everything. So after two months, I was like, I'm going back home, and. Um, I terminated. They terminated mm-hmm. my contract. Um, I went back home, and I knew that it would be difficult to find a club at that point because sure. you know, I mean, it's it's in middle of the se- middle of the season. It was in 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 February or in March or something. I knew that it was it would be difficult, but I did it, mm-hmm. and. Um, and at that point, yeah, I was just the grind started at that yeah. point. Um, I met my my cousin Anthony, my manager, um, and he called me. I, I I went back home and he called me like I think a week, a- maybe a day after or a week after. I'm not sure. Or maybe mm. yeah, a day after. He called me and he was like, "Hey, um, uh, Denzel, how are you?" And everything. I was like, "Hey, I I, I terminated my contract. Um, uh, I left from from England and I had nothing anymore. I just you know." And he was like, "Okay, um, let's talk. I'm gonna look, you know, for something, for some opportunities for you, and and everything." And I was like, "Okay, you know, I didn't, I wanted uh, at that point, I didn't even like soccer anymore. I wanted to yeah. stop with soccer and and everything." And um, uh, yeah, so he was at that. He he called me and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna look for things." And and uh, I was like, "Okay, you know, just let me know." Mm-hmm. Um, I think. Uh, a couple months, two months after, um, he went to New York, and he told me like, we can, we can maybe, you can maybe uh, model, and and do soccer. Um, but I was never into modeling or something. I was always it was always soccer for me. Yeah. So uh, he called me from New York, and. Um, he asked me to come like uh, over to New York, and and I said to him, "I'm not coming for 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 a meeting with a model agency, you know. <laughs> right. Just just if you can have three meetings, three or four meetings with good agencies, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll stay here because it don't make sense to come then. Mm-hmm. And a couple hours after, he called me and he said, "I got three meetings, and uh, you have to fly over." So I went, I went, I went to New York at that moment. That was two years ago, mm-hmm. um, and I met some agencies, some big agencies, DNA, uh, Wilhelmina, and Ford Models, mm-hmm. and they all wanted to sign me for for a couple years. Um, but the problem was, um, I'm a soccer player, so <laughs> yeah, I, I, it was a modeling contract, but I want to play soccer. Right, and it's nice to have that combination, but um my first priority is soccer so um it was on hold at that moment um it was on hold because i was busy finding a soccer club mm-hmm. in i they did my club they um so i turned i terminated my contract in february but i had a deal with them that they uh like they paid me till august mm-hmm. and so till august i had some money but um at a point, uh, I, I reached a point um, that 
I had no money anymore. Everything was gone. I had a car. Uh, yeah. I, I bought a car. Um, I had to bring it back to England. Um, no money. Mm -hmm. Everything. Uh, I was on zero. Like, yeah, on zero. I was on zero again. And um, we were we were busy finding a, a, a soccer club. I went to England again to do some trials. Um, but it's it's very difficult because you're like a couple a couple months after Newcastle came and they called uh, RKC like hey we want to buy the guy and everything I was I did very well mm -hmm. and months after I'm doing a trial at the third league in England right you know so it was for yeah. me as a, I think not 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 only as a soccer player but every person at that moment is like hey I don't know what I'm doing this for you know so I sure. did it I did the trials um um didn't work out uh, for some reason I don't know because I scored I scored an amazing goal <laughs> that game I know yeah it was crazy because I didn't play for, for since February yeah. and the end of the year was in I think maybe August or something August right in August I had a trial in England and um, I, I lost everything my confidence everything mm -hmm. so I played a game he Anthony pushed me um, just to play the game um, I was nervous and everything, and in the first five minutes, I scored an amazing goal. We have it on video. I'll show mm. you after. I scored an amazing goal. So uh, I don't know why it didn't work out, but um, oh yeah, the, the 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 team was I was I think it was crew. Um, they did bad. Mm. They were on the almost last place or something, mm -hmm. and um, so it didn't work out at that mo at that point. I went back home. Uh, did a trial in even in in I don't know how you call it, but we call it Slovenia, Slovenia, mm -hmm. Slovenia. Slovenia. yeah, Slovenia. Yeah. So in Slovenia, I don't know, in the middle of nowhere, it was right. cold. Um, if I walked to the uh, to the shopping mall and there were, I was like, you know, when you do the Hollywood tour and everyone is looking, mm -hmm. they never saw a black guy. Mm -hmm. So it was crazy. I, I, yeah, I was like, I, what am I doing here? I was right. in a hotel room. It was as small as. I don't know what it was crazy and um didn't work out uh went back in to holland did a trial there but it didn't work out so i was at a point that no one no one no no soccer club in england no soccer club in holland wants me anymore wanted me anymore and um i, I had a com i had a conversation with 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 anthony after and we, um, because all the model, modeling agencies wanted to sign me, mm -hmm. and we just, we just, you know, we talked and, and, and everything. And we were like, hey, maybe it's an idea to play soccer in the US, in the States. I was like, yeah, okay, I mean, it's, it's good. I can do everything there. I have uh, some agencies there, and I can play soccer, so we can make a good combination then. Mm -hmm. um, there was a coach from Europe. There was a coach from Europe, from I think he was from Switzerland. Yeah, from from Switzerland, and he um, they gave him a new job in Orange County at a, a soccer club in Orange County. That was Orange County Blues. Mm. Um, and my agent at that point called called him. I was like, Hey, I have a player. Um, he played for for in England. He played there. He has some experience. He's young, but he has some experience. And he wanted to build a club, the the team up because. It was a bad team, to be honest. It was a bad team. Um, they ended, they ended up, they ended last, uh, uh, the last place, and, mm -hmm. and, and two years or three years after, yeah. Now there was, they were bad. They did, they did, they did, they did bad. So, um, and he was like, okay, let him come for a couple of days to Orange County, and um, he he has to do a trial for 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 a week, and. Um, so I went. I went to Orange County, uh, did a trial, um, and it went well. Uh, after three days, he came up to me and he said, "Listen, we want to sign you. Um, we want to make you the highest paid player and the most important player of the team." Mm -hmm. And at that point, there was a new chapter in in my whole life. Yeah, because everything was possible. Everything was possible again. Sure. I saw I saw possibilities in modeling and and in soccer again. Yeah. So um yeah, I signed I signed with Orange County Blues. Um so so the, 
before we get to the current day, um, tell me about the, I mean, you know, it, it sounds so, you know, hearing the way you tell the story, right? It's so crazy to, to, to walk away from a big contract and, right. you know, here you've worked your whole young life to get to that point and then you get there and it's not for you, Yeah. right? And so, uh, and then obviously, you know, there's a long road to get back from that. Yeah. So what's going through your mind when that, like, you know, how bad was it? And was it? It uh, was really, it was, it was really bad. Yeah. It was really bad. Um, as I said, um, I didn't like soccer anymore. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, <clears throat> I went to a, to a supermarket at that, at that moment uh, to work there. Mm. I was I was searching for a job like a regular job. Yeah, and they even they said at that point even they said they they don't want uh, we don't want you. Yeah, and it was it was it was bad. It was really bad. Yeah, it was really bad. I had some some moments you know that I you know I was home and I was just crying mm -hmm. like you know. Um, so it was bad. It was bad, and, and it's hard for 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 a person for a soccer player to uh, come at that point. Sure, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we think of sports, you know, everything you see on TV and, and you know, it's all about the physical. Yeah. Right. And but, you know, the mental game obviously is so important. And and I think we see that in any, you know, if, if it's business, if it's, uh, uh, you know, music, mm -hmm. whatever. Right. It's all about like <clears throat> whatever's going on inside you to be able to bring yeah. your talents yeah. out. Yeah. It's important to feel good. Yeah. It's Did you have people that you could turn to for help in that situation, or were you just completely on your own? No, no, no. I had, I had, uh, my family was there for me. Yeah. My mother, uh, sister, everyone, my dad, uh, my dog at that moment. It was very important for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I had, I had some people, but you know, it's it's always good to have people around you and and family, but. At some at a point, you know, you just you just want to move on. You, you need a, you need a soccer club. You need you need to move. You know, because yeah. you, you, I mean, you're getting older. Yeah. You know, you're getting older, and I'm still young. But for the 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 like in the soccer world. Yeah, it's a young or, man's game. Yeah, you're getting older. So I was panicking, and and. Um, so yeah. were you were were you questioning the decision to leave, to leave England then? After after you you're going through that and you're trying to. You know, find your way back. Were you like, did you, did you? Were you thinking like, oh, I should have hung on to that contract? No, 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 no. I was happy I did it because I wasn't happy. Yeah, it was, it was, it was bad. And um, no, I'm still like, when I think back of it, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy that I did it. Yeah, that I did it because, um, yeah, I'm at this point now. Mm -hmm. so everything happens for a reason. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Everything happens for a reason, so I'm happy that I did it. Yeah, and um, yeah, no, I'm happy. Nice. No, uh, yeah. So uh, no, after I've signed with uh, with Orange County Blues, mm -hmm. and um, but I had no money at that point, so I came I came to Orange County with nothing, just. Yeah. We 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 had some plans mm -hmm. before, like uh, before I went to Orange County. Hey, I want to play for the Galaxy, and I want to sign with a big model agency uh, to be a, a model athlete. That's something. At that point, it's yeah, you you just say it, but mm -hmm. you never expect that it really comes for you. You know. Right. So um, yeah, we we discussed some things, and uh, I started with with at at Orange County Blues. Um, had no money, uh, no place to stay. Um, I was at, I was with Anthony at that point because he told me like when you're going to to the US or even when you go to Afghanistan or I don't know where I'm going with you yeah. you know we in this together so yeah um, um, we we slept in the car uh, for 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 a couple of days uh, we, we did some crazy thing I I, th I can I can't say it on the radio <laughs> fair enough <laughs> I on the air so no yeah. but we did some crazy things. Um, and it was it was it was bad because we had we had to build up everything. Okay, I played my first game. Uh, it was a bad game. Mm. No fitness. I, f I mm -hmm. felt weak and and everything. But 
like during the season everything came i scored some goals uh everything went well um and uh we stayed in touch with with wilhelmina mm -hmm. at that point because we had a very good feeling at wilhelmina wilhelmina was the one uh in new york who uh, they i came in and and uh, told for the guys he was he said yes we want you like right away we want you um so we, we stayed in touch with wilhelmina um and after a couple uh, a couple games a couple good games la galaxy called and it was it was unbelievable we we already we already discussed that and and had some plans about mm -hmm. it but they called and you know we were like okay whoa you know it really happens now yeah so um yeah they called um we i was talking to them uh, my agent was talking to them um and they were like yeah we we won the guy you know we want him we want him for next season mm -hmm. so uh that was in Ju june or july or something so i had three more three more months left in the season mm -hmm. um so i just played did well scored goals again and everything um and um in i think i'm not sure when but i think in august i've signed a three-year deal with uh wilhelmina mm -hmm. and right after i've signed a deal with la galaxy uh yeah 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 right after i've signed a deal with, with la galaxy yeah and now i'm at uh i did some some great things i did some great great events um um yeah some yeah i did some great events yeah uh, there are a lot of things coming up uh we're busy building we're still busy building but on another yeah we're standing on another point now yeah not on zero anymore mm -hmm. um more possibilities and and yeah i have a great great team uh i have a great team with me with with wilhelmina mm -hmm. uh anthony uh yeah so how do you balance the the those you know modeling and and sports and um i wilhelmina i got my my schedule my mm -hmm. my my soccer schedule so when i have a cast a casting um, um and i can make it that day uh they make another appointment sure yeah so yeah soccer is priority yeah of still, course for sure yeah. well yeah. the games you can't reschedule the games no 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 no, right. no i mean i can't walk a show if i have a game or something right no i can't do that how about mentally like is it do you do you, do you switch gears like is it one thing for you or or is it are they separate um it's not it, it's one thing because um that's what i am and that's what i'm standing for that's my mm -hmm. brand i'm a model athlete mm -hmm. um i have to find a balance for sure because uh as I said, soccer is 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 my is the main is the main thing now. Yeah. Um, but it's it's both. It's 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 important. Like both both are important for me. Mm -hmm. It's I like both. And, yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So you seem to have a pretty clear vision now of like what you what you stand for and yeah. what you want to do with your career, your brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, did you have that? early when you were playing in Holland and in in no. UK did you have that no because it's different there if you play in UK or you play in Holland it's only soccer you can you can't do modeling things besides soccer there is it's, that right it's, yeah it's it's soccer is so big there that it's only about soccer 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 yeah. soccer is growing now in here in, in in the states but um it's different it's different mm -hmm. you know you're in LA uh yeah you can do it here you you can do it here you can do you can do some things besides soccer you know and everything mm -hmm. so uh it's different it's different so in in, in holland in, in in england no it was only soccer for me yeah it's different now yeah yeah and and so talk about that uh, um playing you know in holland and england where where that is the sport mm -hmm. and so much of their culture is tied up in soccer and, yeah and uh you know and and so it's obviously very different here mm -hmm. you know the crowds and and all of that and so how is that how's that different for you um yeah i i played some some good games some big games in 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 england we played the fa cup against mm -hmm. arsenal mm -hmm. in a full 
Emirates Stadium mm-hmm. is different than here. I mean, the like the 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 games of Galaxy, they're packed. Yeah, they're good. It's yeah. almost every game it's full. Sure. So it's good, but it's different. Yeah, you know, it's different. And um, fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fans are different. Um, yeah, it it, it it it's different. I'm, I'm I, it's getting there now mm-hmm. in the states because as I said, it's growing. Mm-hmm. A lot of big players from Europe are coming now. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's it's growing, but it's it's different. So it's why different. does it why does it make sense for European players to come over here? At the end of their career, mm. I think it's amazing too. If you if you play if you play your whole life in in England or. Uh, Spain or I don't know where at mm-hmm. a big club in a big league um, you're finishing here your last year so you're tiring here in LA mm-hmm. or in a big city like New York mm-hmm. or something so I think that's why they why why they coming yeah and um, and it's it's a good league uh, or it's getting there so I think that's why the big players are coming mm-hmm. yeah it's good for them to uh, get their last years here yeah in a great city yeah so having gone through everything you just described, how you know when you meet you meet these young players coming out of college or or maybe not even going to college, mm-hmm. um, what, what do you say to them? Um, just keep working hard. Um, uh, believe in believe in yourself. It's very important. Uh, never lose hope. Mm. Never lose hope. Um, even when you like even when you reach a point that you don't know what you do it for or yeah. what are you doing or you know just believe and keep working hard because it's not possible that if you're working hard nothing comes on your path mm-hmm. that's that's not possible the world is not like that it's, it's just like if you work hard there is something if it's now or in a couple months i don't know but it's coming mm-hmm. for sure mm-hmm. so just keep believe work hard and and um yeah that's it. Keep keep trying. Do you keep think everybody trying. goes through that? Um, like you said, not not uh, not kind of losing touch with what you do it for. Um. If if sorry if if everyone yeah, reaches that, that just, point is that is that just sort of a natural process depends, to go through? Depends. Depends on your career. Yeah. Some some players, some soccer players, have a great career. Mm-hmm. Like with with. Just small things, you know, but but nothing nothing big like this, mm-hmm. you know. So it depends. It depends on your on your on your career and how your life is going and yeah, the choices sure. you make because it, it's very important to make the right decisions. Sure, that's very important. Right. You know. So do you think there's something? You know, I mean, obviously, you know, on paper, you you were making the right decision to go. You know, go to a big team in England, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Like that. Everybody yeah. would have supported that decision, yeah. um, and you know, can you? Did you have you learned something? You know, is there something you know now that had you known then? Like, like, is there a way to find those clues? Just um, I always fo- I'm, I always follow my feeling, mm-hmm. what I'm feeling at that point. At that moment, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, um, and and for sure, you know, you 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 discuss it with with you, you know, with with uh, with the team mm-hmm. you have, uh, your parents at that point and everything. Mm-hmm. But at the end, you're the one who make the decision and who has to make the decision. It's your life. Sure. You know, so um, yeah. At that point in England, I was like, I'm not happy. Um, I know it's difficult to find a new club. Um, I know it's gonna be a grind, but I'd rather grind than stay here in a hotel room alone, yeah, without making minutes in Coventry, yeah, yeah, so what's been the biggest um surprises uh you know I- I'm curious your perception of American culture growing up in 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 Amsterdam mm-hmm. um, versus when you get here and you're living here? Um, I think here um, they 
it's not like with all the respect for for Holland or or England or something, but they appreciate things more than in in Holland. Mm. Um, everyone in Holland knows Denzel got great speed. Everyone knows it, but they're like, oh yes, oh great speed, and that's it, you right. know. Yeah. But here, they they good in making things bigger, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, what a great speed and everything, you know. They they love yeah. it. They love that. Sure. And and uh, that's what I like. You know, that's what I like. Um, Holland, I I find so interesting because such a small country, uh-huh. but I think it's had a really big cultural impact yeah, yeah. on the world. You know, they've been great at exporting their culture. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Well, is there something about the Dutch? Why? Why is that? Any any ideas why? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They're far, very far. It's it's. It's as you said. It's a small country, but yeah, they, they, they. I think they're doing something right or something because everyone loves Amsterdam. Yeah, as you said, everyone loves Amsterdam. This, yeah, it's it's just. I don't know. They far. They are very far for 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 a small country like that. Yeah. 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 No, it's a, it's yeah. It's a great country. You know what strikes me is at about Amsterdam is. Um, you know, you get there and you feel like you're, there's just this youthful energy about the city, yeah. right? And I think some of it is like, the first time I went there was, you know, fresh out of high school, I was going on a tour of yeah, Europe yeah, yeah. and like, and there's so many kids <laughs> yes, yes. that like your first time outside of your home country, yeah. you're in Amsterdam, yeah. you know, and you're just like, you see people as just, eyes like wide open yeah yeah yeah. no it's 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 amsterdam is is perfect for young people yeah perfect for young people and i think especially if you're coming from 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 the states Mm -hmm. because to be honest everything is possible and everything is you're allowed to do everything in amsterdam right (laughs) like yeah if you want you know if you want to smoke weed you can smoke weed if you want it's it's everything is it's it's possible there sure you can enjoy yourself you can do everything what you Mm -hmm. want so um, that's that's great. That's great about about uh, about Amsterdam and Holland. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you write you write about that. Yeah, a lot of you. Uh, yeah, and I think it just has a, a, you know, there's just an energy to that, right? And being around that many people that are having yeah. that kind of experience. Yes, yes. You know, and I go back now, and you know, I don't smoke weed, but it's I. Different, but like, yeah. but it, but it, you still feel that. You yeah, still yeah, feel yeah. these yeah. kids. Like, yeah. All yeah, it's a good you. feeling. It's yeah. a great feeling. Yeah. Now, Amsterdam is a uh, yeah, it's a great city. It's it's a great city. Everyone everyone here in the states loves Amsterdam. Everyone. Yeah. It's funny if you you know if you if they ask you for where you're from and you say yeah I'm from Amsterdam they're like oh wow we love Amsterdam this and that so <laughs> yeah, yeah for sure it's, it's it's funny it's funny to see that yeah do you go back? Um, yeah maybe the end of this year I'm not sure okay. how things are going and and I don't know my schedule yet for for. Uh, Besides soccer and, and with soccer, uh-huh. uh, so I don't know. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. So what's the plan when you think of of the your brand? Like where, uh, you know, you've had an amazing journey to get to this point. Mm-hmm. Where's where where's it going? Um. As I said, we 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 still we we busy a uh, uh, building. Mm-hmm. I'm in a reality now. Uh, uh, on E. Oh yeah, yeah. What? Tell me about it. Uh, it's called wax. 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 Wags. Wax. Oh yeah, wax. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's wife, uh, wives, and girlfriends of athletes. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, so you're on with with a girlfriend. Not my girlfriend. A girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing her. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm in. I'm in that show. Yeah. Um. How's that? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's funny. You know, it's it's yeah. it's it's always weird. Uh, to have uh, cameras around you like, all the time, yeah. but it's 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 fun. It's fun, and it's it's you know, um, we, we a lot of things uh, coming up. A lot mm-hmm. of a lot of plans uh, we have. To, um, what we have, um, we're busy with our own clothing line. Mm-hmm. Um, calls is there is there a name? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, eleven. Um, yeah, so we we we're busy building that. And what's the? Tell me about the line. Um, it's a sp- like a, sp- a sporting line, sporting mm-hmm. clothes, clothes, but um, 
that's DS11, mm-hmm. that's the sporting line, and 11, that's the casual line. So uh, I like fashion. So uh, we what we're trying to do is to um, to make the the 11 line uh, high fashion. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's what we're doing. We 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 very busy with everything. Yeah, I'm uh, sure. And hope to uh, launch uh, the first collection fall winter. Okay. From this year. Yeah. So um, that's what we're doing. Uh, it's it's we have a lot, a lot. Like if I have to tell you everything, I'm here tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Still here tomorrow. So it's there's a lot of things coming up. Yeah. And. Um, and I'm happy, you know, that that we're building. Yeah. And that, uh, yeah. Well, it seems, I mean, those are pretty lofty goals, right? Mm-hmm. TV, your own clothing line, yeah. you know, modeling career. That's, yeah, yeah. That's all big stuff. It seems like when the foundation's working, I don't mean to speak for you, but if it seems like when the foundation's working, you yeah. can, like, free up your mind. To, yeah, to, yeah do these other yeah, things yeah is that right yeah that's right yeah that's right that's right and um i think it's important to know because because as you said um it sounds very good now uh reality sure la galaxy uh, modeling agency but um i've been through a lot yeah to come uh, to, to be at this point so how much you how know? much do you how much do you tap into that Mm, a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, a lot. So I tell mean, me, you, tell me how you, that, how does that play out? You know, it's just you're gonna um, appreciate small things. Mm. Um, I was, to be honest, before this and before everything, before the struggle, I was spoiled. Mm. I was spoiled. Everything went well yeah um all the big clubs were like hey denzel great young talent we want to buy him we want this and that so i was spoiled so you think you realized you were spoiled at the time yeah yeah for sure yeah yeah yeah, i was spoiled right and um in the last two years i really uh learned how to struggle Mm -hmm. and how to work with nothing Mm -hmm. so when i have something now or when there is something or i have a possibility or someone wants to work with me or i don't know what i really appreciate it i really appreciate it and i i try to get the best of it out of yeah. it you know so i think that's that's yeah that's that's what i learned of it and it's it's very good that i uh that i've been to through through everything yeah 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 it's cool because you know we like you know, from the outside, like we appreciate the highlight reel, mm-hmm. right? Like we we celebrate all the successes, yeah. but you know, it's but it's those things that you go through, yeah, yeah, yeah. to get there that yeah. maybe really matter the most. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, is there a model that you're following? Is there is there someone else that you see as like you're patterning your career um, after? No, not really. But um, like, if you want to compare it with with something not with someone but with something i think david beckham did something like soccer and Mm -hmm. and and yeah modeling beside beside soccer but he didn't like it's a different time it's another time now you know and he didn't sign with an agency right um he didn't walk a show Mm -hmm. like a fashion show Mm -hmm. so it's a different time so you know we we're doing things different but it's almost like yeah like, yeah. like David Beckham, because if you if you hear something, hey, model athlete, it's sure. the first one who you think about, right? Of course, yeah. Yeah. But is it like like are you are you taking cues from him? No. 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 We do our own thing. Yeah. We have our own minds. Yeah. Um. So so who do you um. You know who do you get input from? Like who who helps you make these decisions? Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony's that's the man. team. Yeah, that's 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 the team. Love it. Yeah, that's that's cool. that's, that's what we. Uh, if I have an idea, I call Anthony. Hey, listen, I want to do this and that. What do you think of it? Yeah. He's like, yeah, maybe this and that. He's calling me. Hey, Denzel, do you want to do this? And, and we discuss things with each other. Yeah. So we're not looking at other people. No. Yeah. No, we're not looking at other people. We just we call it freestyling. When we're in our bed yeah. and we're laying down, 
and I think, hey, listen, I want to do this. I'll call Anthony directly. If it's in, if it's I don't doesn't matter what time it is, or sure. just call him. Yeah. We have to do this, and and that's what we're doing. That's what, what, we're doing. what percent of the time do you guys agree? Um, it it takes it sometimes it's yeah it's 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 hard because he's um he got his 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 thoughts and his 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 own you know way of thinking sure. and everything and i have because it's different he's the one who's watching everything it's not it's not not the one who's watching everything from the outside because he's really involved but mm-hmm. i'm the one who you know i play soccer yeah it's your I'm face a, on yeah the, so sometimes i make some decisions um and he's like hey listen we have to wait on this we have to wait on that and okay so it's so it's so that's good and that's good so it's, yeah we have we have i had some hard times with anthony yeah yeah i had some hard times with anthony but that's 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 good yeah that's good yeah i think i mean it's just like i was saying before i think you know it's important to kind of appreciate those too right and, yeah. and understand that uh you know it's you're not supposed to agree on everything yeah no yeah. no i think it's good to have some uh yeah to have someone like that because if if i had some if i it's it's i mean you know it's good to have honest people mm-hmm. around you mm-hmm. you know if you if you're saying something and and you have someone beside you who's like hey yes okay let's do that and and everything yes i mean you're you're building your brand the wrong way right you yeah. know you're building your brand the wrong way mm-hmm. so that's that's what we're doing and that's you know that's the team we yeah. just we from the same neighborhood uh um it's not it's not it's not a good neighborhood uh-huh. you know it's not a good neighborhood and yeah so we have a we have a so maybe there, a different mentality are there lessons that you picked up from the neighborhood that oh, you yeah. carry with yeah. you give me, sure give yeah. me one a lot of things loyalty yeah that's that's the biggest thing loyalty i mean that's gold in the neighborhood where where we from loyalty is is i mean you know um and that's what we are to each other Mm -hmm. loyal Mm -hmm. that's the only thing we have Mm -hmm. you know um so that's that's very important and of course uh, you know some things for us like if i if i um i looked at my age the story i was telling you i was i think 20 years old or something i think um if you put someone else from that age and you put him in the car and uh for a couple of days to sleep there it's different yeah. you know the like the neighborhood where i'm from you you that, that's that's you have you have to i mean you you, you get it, it's it's tough so you have to be hard mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so that's why that's what that's what what that's the difference um um that's the difference it makes you it makes you hard and and uh yeah. so so do you think that that the upbringing that you know having that background do you think it helped you realize that you're going to live through whatever it is you're yeah. going through yeah yeah for sure for sure and and i'm from a, f- a very a very like a very good family mm-hmm. it's, it's the same same as anthony very sure. good and and a warm family you know mother's always taking care of everything and you know but it was just the it's it's that's that's home yeah. but mostly i think you're on the street mostly with your friends right. or sure. you know what i mean so that's why i'm uh, that's what i'm saying that but um yeah no, i've had some some hard lessons mm-hmm. uh, about uh growing up in the in the, in the neighborhood in that yeah. neighborhood yeah 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 um so did I read right about a, a foundation you're involved with? Yeah, yeah. We um, it's just like I said, we uh, really busy with everything. I, I want to give back. Mm-hmm. Um, What's the foundation? It's a foundation for um, uh, for, for 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 children for mm-hmm. for for kids who um, yeah in 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 tough. Uh, rough uh, neighborhoods uh, who like because I know I've been through to to some uh, some neighborhoods in Watts mm-hmm. uh, Compton and everywhere mm-hmm. 
and there were a lot of Mexican kids and and uh, not only Mexican kids, but they love soccer. Yeah. But they just can't play soccer. Mm-hmm. You know, they just can't play soccer. And that's not only here, but that's in where I'm from, in Curacao, yeah. um, everywhere. You know, mm-hmm. so I just want to give back because I want to give everyone the, the the possibility to work on their talent. I think that's very important because that's the way how you get your family, your mother, your I don't know who, out the neighborhood, out of the sure. neighborhood that you are. Yeah. If you have a talent, that's how it works. If you have a talent and someone sees it, you can you can take care of your whole family. Mm-hmm. So I just want to give everyone the possibility, and um, yeah, to do what they what they good in, and you know, to de- develop yourself. And yeah, yeah, nice. That's very. So we 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 we're very busy uh, building it, but there's there are, there's a lot of things going on, you know. Um, so it 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 goes slower as expected but of course it, we we're getting there yeah, yeah we're getting there yeah yeah do you think you'll ever feel like you've made it no no I've n- no never never because i mean you've i don't know i can't imagine that personally because i'll never reach a point that i'm not hungry anymore mm-hmm. never even when i'm even when I'm when I have everything what I what I have in mind now, mm-hmm. I'll find new things at that point. Like, yeah. hey, no, listen, I want to do this more. So it's never ending. No, of course you'll reach you'll reach like a moment where you chill and relax. But I'll never sleep. Yeah. No, I'll never sleep. We too yeah. hungry for that. Yeah. We too hungry for that. And, and what drives that? Um, you have to get the most out of. I mean, life is short. Mm. So get the most out of it and and get the best out of it, and work hard. Do what you like. Do what are, you love. Are you impatient? No. No. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. And then, you know, Anthony's like, hey, "Listen, you have to relax." And then, you know. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes. But that's because I want to go. I'm, you know. Yeah. I don't want to reach that 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 point anymore where I was a couple of years ago. Yeah. I just want to go. I want to go, go, go. You know. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes, yeah. It's tough to balance those things, right? True. I mean, I've, you know, I've had that lesson, uh, you know, it takes time for things to develop. Yeah. You want them now. You mm-hmm. want to move on to the next thing, yeah. right? Yeah. And and uh, if you're too patient, you know, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move no, too have- quickly, nothing's going to happen. Yeah. No, you have to find the right balance. Yeah, really, because I mean, if you if you're gonna wait for the right time, yeah, when is the right time? You know, so you have to feel. It's just, it's just, it's it's feel. You know, your feeling and 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 everything. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's very important to to communicate with each other, and uh, and yeah, just do what you have to do, mm-hmm. and find a right balance, of course. Yeah, yeah. but. No, I think it's not right to wait on the right time because it's never the right time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You don't know when is the right time. So when you think about modeling and, and you know, the stuff you're doing with, with the clothing brand and that, um, what brands in your world are are doing it right? D squared. D squared. Yeah, for sure. You Why? know D squared? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you sure. know them? Yeah. Oh, really? Definitely. Oh, yeah. I love D squared. I always wear D squared. Tell me why. Because they're, it's another level. Yeah, yeah, that's another level. I mean, they 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 can they can they find they can find a balance in, um, in what they what they do and what they design. They, their jeans, uh, their shirts with holes in it, and mm-hmm. everything. They always do the right things. You know, it's, it's just it's it's an amazing brand. I love Balmain. Do you know Balmain? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you know some brands, huh? <laughs> no, I know. No, I get out I of the house once in a while. <laughs> no, no, I love, I love Bowman. Yeah. Um, I know that I know the designers of of D Squared. Okay. Dean and Dan, so yeah, they're amazing and. Yeah, and um, you've done some modeling for them. Um, we're we're uh, busy with it. Yeah. Okay. We're busy with it for this year. Cool. Um, uh, I don't know when. Yeah. But there is something cooking, but but yeah. you know we have we have to wait. Um. But yeah, I think they're doing a great job, and they're in the game for. I mean, I was 
12, 11 mm. years old, and I saw bigger guys with the, the coats from D squared and uh -huh. everything, you know. So they they're in this game for more than I think 10, 15 years or something. Yeah, you know. So and so, what makes them or somebody like them like a good fit for for you and your brand? In my brand? Yeah. No, uh, you're like your brand as a oh um, as a person. It's just my style. Uh, yeah. Uh, the the jeans are perfect because um, I had a problem with my 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 legs because I played soccer at sure. a point. Yeah. It's not that big anymore, but yeah. I had a I had a I had a problem, and the right. D square jeans is they were they fit. perfect. Yeah, they were yeah. perfect. The shirts are perfect. Um, I love the things that they make. Uh, they have always different things. Like mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't like to buy everything. What like if you buy, for example, if you buy um, a shoe, the D squared shoe in black, I will buy it in purple. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I always want to do something different, runway collections and everything. And D squared is perfect in that. They're mm -hmm. perfect in that. So mm -hmm. that's why I love D squared. Yeah, that's why I love D squared. And what about um, what do you think the other brands? You know, again, as you think about building your own. Maybe the clothing line is mm -hmm. the thing, but like, what is it? What are you trying to avoid? Like, what do you? Who do? You, um, what do you see that people are doing wrong? Um, what I see that people try and do wrong is 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 um, they're trying to copy some things. Mm. I mean, let's be honest. Balmain, Olivier, he was the first with the biker jeans, mm -hmm. the first. But if you're going to Sara now, you can buy the same right. the biker jeans. Sure for maybe 60 to 70 dollars yeah. and the normal jeans is 600 to 700 dollars so mm -hmm. i think it's 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 it messed up the brand the real brand bomb man because yeah. you have some okay, look i'm i know if you wear a sara sara jeans i can see that it's not bomb man but mm -hmm. some people they right. see it like you know what i mean yeah so i think it's not good to to uh to copy brands just mm -hmm. do your own thing mm -hmm. and um that's the key be different yeah be different because there, there's i mean there are a lot of brands who are trying to come up now so you have to be different you, you need something you know that that yeah that's different yeah that people like yeah when you think about brands that you would partner with as a as a model or an athlete mm -hmm. is there ever like do you ever think of like that something would be selling out um, what do you mean? Everything like I can't do that. That'd be like. Oh no, 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 no! Everything is possible. Yeah. Everything is possible. So, uh, I'll never say never. Some things are harder, but with hard work, you'll get there mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything is possible in my eyes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of it? You think? Uh, I think it's you know. It's a decision each person has to make. Yeah. Like, you know, you can tell from the outside, you can tell when somebody's doing it only for the money versus, yeah. I mean, every, of course you're doing it for the money, right? That's not. Yeah. But, but when it's like, you know, when someone's compromising themselves, mm -hmm. you know, it shows. Yeah, sure. And so, and as, but you know, for for me, you know, one thing might be okay for you, maybe not, yeah. right? And so it's it's a really personal decision. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's that's true. That's true. Uh, but I think again, if you um, if you're doing something what you love and what you like, everything will come. Yeah. Everything will come. Yeah. You know, if you're do if you're only doing it for the money, you're not doing the right thing. Right. You have to love something, and after that. It will pay, or it will, you yeah. know, yeah, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So everything what I'm doing now is is what I like and what I love. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see, uh, you know, the next level how, how everything yeah. we'll, plays out. Yeah. We'll be looking for uh, eleven on the oh, show. Oh yes, yes, yes. For yes. sure. Um, yes. I always like to end with some some music stuff. Are you into music? Are you? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. What? Um, what are you loving? Okay, let what me you see. What you grew up with, first of all, what kind oh, of? Oh, I grew up with with, um, yeah, with R and B, with yeah. with you know rap, hip hop, yeah, and 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 everything, yeah. Like what? Who was? Uh, give me some favorites. Uh, you mean back then? Yeah, or? yeah, back then. Let me see. Pooh. Do you remember the first record that like blew your mind? 
me see, let me see, let me see. Pool. That was uh I love music. I love okay. music. That's why it's so difficult. Yeah. That's why it's so difficult. I love music. I think. Phew. Well, yeah, I, no, I can't remember. Okay. I can't remember. Is it? It's a long time ago. Yeah, it's so a long time ago. That's what it, yeah. So I you, have a lot of songs in my head now. Yeah. So I don't know which one. You know. What do you listen to now? Oh, to everything. Yeah. What's good? Everything. What? If it's good, I listen to it. Yeah. If it's good, I listen to it. And I like. I like, um, you know, um, um, low-key rappers. You know, who's who's they're building up. Yeah. Um, I showed I showed Anthony Bryson Tiller. You uh -huh. know Bryson Tiller. Yeah. I know. I showed Anthony Bryson Tiller before, like before everyone knew Bryson Tiller. Nice. Uh, Tory Lanes. Uh huh. Um, you know, uh, designer. Yeah. You know, I, like way before every so I like that I'm just you know I'm searching for everything yeah, and when yeah. I hear something like hey and I'm gonna search on, on Google or something yeah, somewhere yeah. you know so um, do you do you follow uh, Dutch music particularly like um, does that matter to you yeah if, if maybe some friends of me they're they're doing it well yeah in in Holland yeah um, so yeah I'm just just listen to them sometimes right. you know and everything but uh, I really love American music, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, rap and everything, American, yeah. Cool. Yes. Nice. So, yeah. Well, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thanks for having Dude, me. thank you for sharing those stories. Yeah, no, us. thanks for having that's, me. That's great really stuff. Really appreciate it. Come back anytime you want to promote the clothing line. Oh, yeah, Show sure. us, you know, what you got. Okay, okay. So it's always yeah. up. All right. Right on. Thank you very much. Yo, crazy stories, right? I really enjoyed that. I hope you did, too. I hope you'll join us next week for more Rebel Radio. In the meantime, hit us up on Twitter, at Rebel Radio Net, on Facebook, or leave us a review on iTunes. 